The Book of Hebrew 10. Hebrew 10 to 1 for the law having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offered, year by year continually make the comers there until perfect. Hebrew 10 to 2 for then would they not have ceased to be offered? Because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. Hebrew 10 to 3, but in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. Hebrew 10 to 4, for it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Hebrew 10 to 5, wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Hebrew 10 to 6 in burnt offerings and sacrifices. For sin thou hast had no pleasure. Hebrew 10 to 7 then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Hebrew 10 to 8. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Hebrew 10 no 9 then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Hebrew 10 10 by the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Hebrew 10.11 And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. Hebrew 10 12 But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Hebrew 10 13 From henceforth they expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Hebrew 10 14 For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Head 10 15 Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after that he had said before. Hebrew 10 16 This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. Hebrew 10 17 And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Hebrew 10, 18 Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Hebrew 10, 19 Having therefore, brethren, boldness, to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Hebrew 10, 20 By a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, is flesh. Hebrew 10 21 And having an high priest over the house of God. Hebrew 10 20 To let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Hebrew 10 23 Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Hebrew 10 24 And let us consider one another 
to provoke unto love and to good works. Hebrew 10.25 Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Hebrew 10.26 For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Hebrew 10.27, at a certain fearful looking for of judgment, and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. Hebrew 10.28, he that despised Moses' law die, without mercy under two or three witnesses. Hebrew 10.29 of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy, who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God, and hath counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified, an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace. Hebrew 10.30 for we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, saith the Lord, and again, the Lord shall judge his people. Hebrew 10.31 It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hebrew 10.30 To but call to remembrance the former days, in which, after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Hebrew 10.33 Partly, whilst ye were made a gazing stock both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly, whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. Hebrew 10.30 For for ye had compassion of me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Hebrew 10.35 Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Hebrew 10.36 For ye have need of patience, that, after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Hebrew 10.37 For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Hebrew 10.38 Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Hebrew 10.39 But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Thanks for watching.